Okay, today is the 7th of September. Uh, if I go proceed with the suttas, huh, I'd just like to refresh uh, uh, your memory on this uh, Sarakani Sutta. I just, I forgot to mention one or two things uh, that are important, or I forgot to stress. Uh. So we look at this Sarakani Sutta 55.24. Uh, on page 1811. Now, in this sutta, the Sarakani, uh, this layman, uh, he died and the Buddha said that he was a stream enterer. And a lot of people uh, did not believe uh, because they said uh, that he did not keep the five precepts. Uh, Actually, one of the five precepts, la, because he drank liquor. La. But the Buddha did not uh, say yeah, that, uh, uh, that because of drinking liquor there was anything wrong. La. The Buddha just said that he had gone for refuge for a long time to the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. In other words, eh, he had learned the Dhamma for a long time, la, so how can he be reborn in the woeful planes of existence? La? So now, uh, to be a Sotapanna, stream enterer, uh, first part or first fruit, Arya, that person uh, some, sometimes is said to have perfect sila, or sometimes said to have Aryan sila or said to have the sila, moral conduct, uh, dear to the noble ones, uh, to the Aryans. Uh. Now what is this Aryan sila? Aryan sila uh, in the Noble Eightfold Path consists of three factors, right speech, right action, and right livelihood. Uh. Right speech consists of four precepts, uh, not to lie, not to engage in malicious or divisive speech. Uh not to engage in coarse or vulgar speech eh, and not to engage in idle gossip. Eh. So there are four precepts in uh, right speech. In right action, eh, there are three precepts. Uh, not to kill, not to take what is not given, and not to engage in sexual misconduct eh, or adultery. Eh, three, three precepts. Eh. All right, livelihood eh, means eh, uh, earning your livelihood in a way that does not harm others. La. And that is covered na, by the seven precepts, la, right speech and right action, na, so you don't harm others. La. Uh, so, so these three things, uh, these fact three factors of the Noble Eightfold Path, uh, which, uh, which, uh, con uh, which is the uh, sila uh, component, uh, the sila, fact uh, sila component of the Noble Eightfold Path, uh, uh, consists of seven precepts. La. And these seven precepts, you notice, uh, there's no precept against liquor. There's no precept against liquor. In other words, uh, there are some people, uh, they are good Buddhists, but every evening after dinner, uh, they like to drink a bit of wine. <laughs> Especially Westerners la, in the country, it's very cold. La. In the West, uh, the winter, they need a bit of wine. There's nothing wrong with it. La. But sometimes, uh, I mean, the, the precept uh, is to uh, uh, prevent us uh, from becoming intoxicated uh, to the extent that you lose control of yourself. Uh. But if you don't lose your control of yourself, uh, that's uh, it's quite okay. Uh. Uh, but sometimes some people, they don't see it that way. Uh. Mm, I've been told uh, there are some monks on the internet, they say even you drink one drop of liquor, you have broken the precept. <laughs> Uh, that's a bit uh, too, what, too extreme. Uh. The other thing I think I've mentioned the other day, but I'd just like to stress again, uh, that if you notice on page 1812, uh, uh, it says that the Arahan, the one who is liberated by mind or liberated by wisdom, uh, he has joyous wisdom, swift wisdom. Uh, and then the Anagamin also has joyous wisdom and swift wisdom. La. But the Sakadagamin uh, does not 
have joyous wisdom or swift wisdom. And the Sutapanna also does not have joyous wisdom and swift wisdom. Lah. So, uh, why is it that the Anagamin and the Arahan, both of them uh, have joyous and swift wisdom, whereas Sakadagamin and Sotapanna do not have? Uh. Now, in the suttas, uh, it is mentioned uh, that the uh, Sotapanna and Sakadagamin, uh, they have perfect sila or arin sila. Uh. Whereas the Anagamin uh, has perfect sila and perfect samadhi, uh, perfect moral conduct and perfect concentration. Uh. And the Arahan has perfect sila, samadhi and panya, perfect moral conduct, perfect concentration, perfect wisdom. Uh. So uh, the Anagamin and Arahan, uh, they both possess one thing in common, which is perfect concentration. Uh. A perfect concentration in the Noble Eightfold Path uh, means the four jhanas, uh, nothing short of the four jhanas. Uh. If you have three jhanas also, it's not perfect concentration. Uh. It is concentration, but it's not perfect concentration. Uh. So that is why uh, uh, the Anagamin uh, and the Arahan, uh, they are one step uh, below, one, one step higher uh, than the Sakadagamin and Sotapanna uh, in the sense that they have deep wisdom. Uh. Joyous wisdom and swift wisdom uh, refers to deep wisdom, uh, and deep wisdom uh, comes with deep samadhi. Uh, uh, so that's why uh, uh, it is stated in the suttas uh, that <coughs> uh, concentration uh, brings you great wisdom. Uh, so there's something that the people who practice pure with pasana they don't believe. Uh, uh, so without uh, without a perfect concentration. Uh, if you practice pure vipassana, you, it is not possible to attain uh, joyous wisdom uh, and swift wisdom, uh, and others deep wisdom. Uh. So the uh, last and most important thing uh, about this uh, sutta is that the Buddha said uh, even the trees uh, can become sutapanna if they can understand the Dhamma. Uh meaning that uh, sotapanna is to be attained by listening to the Dhamma, uh, not just meditation. Although meditation does help, uh, does assist, uh, but the most important criterion uh, for attaining stream entry uh, is uh, hearing the Dhamma, uh, because there is one sutta, Anguttara Nikaya 9.20, uh, where it is said uh, that the uh, sotapanna, or it's implied uh, that the sotapanna uh, has right view, uh, right view, and in fact, all Aryans have right view. Uh, so, uh, right view uh, uh, is obtained uh, uh, with two conditions, uh, as mentioned in the Majjhima Nikaya Sutta 43. Uh, one is the voice of another, uh, in other words, somebody else teaching you the Dhamma. And then you have Yoniso Manasikara, which can be translated as proper attention or careful attention. Uh, so uh, right view uh, comes from somebody else teaching you the Dhamma. So nowadays uh, that would include uh, reading the Nikayas, the original suttas of the Buddha in the book form. Uh, so uh, and that's a very important thing to remember that if you want to attain Sotapanna, you must listen to the Dhamma, otherwise you can never attain right view and become a Sotapanna. Okay, now we proceed with the Sutta. 55.54, that's on page 1834. On one occasion, the Blessed One was dwelling among the Sakyans at Kapilavatu in the Grodas Park. On that occasion, a number of monks were making a robe for the Blessed One, thinking, after three months with this robe completed, the Blessed One will set out on tour. Mahanama, the Sakyan, heard, a number of monks, it is said, are making a robe for the Blessed One, thinking that after the three months with this robe completed, the Blessed One will set out on tour. Then Mahanama, the Sakyan, approached the Blessed One, paid homage to him, sat down to one side and said, Venerable Sir, I heard that a number of monks are making a robe for the Blessed One, thinking that after the three months 
with his role completed, the Blessed One will set out on tour. Now I have not heard and learned in the, in the presence of the Blessed One how a wise lay follower who is sick, afflicted and gravely ill should be exhorted by another wise lay follower. Let's stop here for a moment. moment uh. So here, uh, Mahanama is asking uh, if, if, a, if a good Buddhist uh, is dying, uh, how should another lay Buddhist uh, advise him? Uh, this is something you ought to know uh, in case one of your Buddhist friends uh, is passing away. Uh. And the Buddha said, a wise lay follower, Mahanama, who is sick, afflicted and gravely ill, should be consoled by another wise lay follower with four consolations. Let the Venerable One be consoled. You have confirmed confidence in the Buddha thus. The Blessed One uh, is a teacher of devas and humans, enlighten the Blessed One. You have confirmed confidence in the Dhamma. You have confirmed confidence in the Sangha. And you have the virtues dear to the Noble Ones, unbroken, unblemished, leading to concentration. After a wise lay follower who is sick, afflicted and gravely ill has been consoled by a wise lay follower with these four consolations, he should be asked, are you anxious about your mother and father? If he says, I am, <coughs> he should be told, but good sir, you are subject to death. Whether you are anxious about your mother and father or not, you will die anyway, so please abandon your anxiety about your mother and father. If he says, I have abandoned my anxiety about my mother and father, he should be asked, are you anxious about your wife and children? If he says, I am, he should be told, but good sir, you are subject to death. Whether you are anxious about your wife and children or not, you will die anyway, so please abandon your anxiety about your wife and children. If he says, I have abandoned my anxiety over my wife and children, he should be asked, Are you anxious about the five chords of human sensual pleasure? If he says, I am, he should be told, Celestial sensual pleasures, friend, are more excellent and sublime than human sensual pleasures. So please withdraw your mind from human sensual pleasures and resolve on the devas of the realm of the four great kings. If he says, my mind has been withdrawn from human sensual pleasures and resolve on the devas of the realm of the four great kings. He should be told, the Tavatimsa devas friend are more excellent and sublime than the devas of the realm of the four great kings. So please withdraw your mind from the devas of the realm of the four great kings and resolve on the Tavatimsa devas. If he says, my mind has been withdrawn from the devas of the realm of the four great kings and resolved on the Tavatimsa devas. He should be told, more excellent and sublime friend than the Tavatimsa devas are the Yama devas. Similarly, the Tusita devas, Nimanarati devas, Paranimita Vasavati devas. The Brahma world friend is more excellent and sublime than the Paranimita Vasavati devas. So please withdraw your mind from the Paranimita Vasavati Devas and resolve on the Brahma world. If he says, my mind has been withdrawn from the Paranimita Vasavati Devas and resolved on the Brahma world, he should be told, even the Brahma world friend is impermanent, unstable, included in identity. So please withdraw your mind from the Brahma world and direct it to the cessation of identity. If he says, my mind has been withdrawn from the Brahma world, I have directed my mind to the cessation of identity. Then, Mahanama, I say there is no difference between a lay follower who is thus liberated by mind and a monk who has been liberated by mind for a hundred years. That is, between one liberation and the other. That's the end of the sutta. Uh, so here, uh, if the person dying, uh, is a good Buddhist uh, who understands the Dhamma, then you remind him uh, that he has these four factors of stream and tree. Uh, so he'll be happy. Uh, and then after that, you ask him uh, whether he still has. Uh,